Hi there, over the past several weeks, I've gotten a lot of comments talking about the Kindle Oasis and how this thing is really overpriced. At almost $300 when you get the upgraded version, it is quite the investment for an e-reader. But for me personally, I think it's one of the best $300 I've spent in recent memory. This device alone has literally changed my life in so many ways. I am so happy I bought this. But there are several things I wish I talked about in my original review video about a year ago now now that I want to talk about today. So the first thing I want to talk about is the build quality. I did talk about this in my original review. It's really, really high quality. It feels like an Apple product. It's all metal and there's no plastic to be found anywhere on this design. It's glass on the front, metal on the back. You are paying for that premium quality material that they use to build this thing. However, it does feel really fragile. I do wish I could use this device without a case. It kind of feels like my iPhone. I could use it without a case, but it is really fragile and I'm scared of dropping it and breaking it. Same thing with this, it's such a thin device as well. When you're holding it, you feel like you can drop it and it could break. I do think it's pretty sturdy, but it has that feeling that it could break. However, the other good thing about this device are the page turn buttons. I've used several e-readers now from Kobo and Nook and other Kindles as well, and these are consistently the best page turn buttons that I've personally used. I love the design of them. They click so nicely. They're a nice rubber touch, and there's no issues pressing them. They always work. The same cannot be said with a few other devices that I've used. Now, speaking of buttons, the other really good button on this device is the power button. It's logically placed. It's exactly where you'd expect it to be on the same side as the page turn buttons right on the top. It sounds so obvious, but check out my video talking about my biggest complaint about the other Kindles and Kobos out there. Power buttons are always placed in the weirdest place, but on the Oasis, it's right there where you want it to be. It's also a nice metal button. It clicks really nicely. The power button is great. The one thing I don't like about the Oasis though is it is micro USB, and that is kind of annoying. I wish it would be USB-C like all my other devices, like my laptop, my iPad, and all the other peripherals that I have. Having a USB-C connector would be great for charging. However, it really doesn't matter. Micro USB is fine. The battery life on this thing lasts very, very long. I used to read a lot more last year in 2020, and I would charge this thing about once a week. Now I'm not reading as much, and I still get over a week of charge. I don't have to worry about this thing dying all the time. It lasts so long. Long. It's not like a phone where you charge it every night. Your Kindle will last a week or two at the very least. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the display of the Kindle Oasis. I think it's the most underrated feature of the device. When I got the Kindle Oasis a year ago, I thought it was cool, but boy, I had no idea how much I would love this one feature alone. The warm light temperature control is the only thing you're going to find on the Kindle Oasis. You're not going to find that on the Paperwhite or the Kindle Basic. I do hope they bring it to the Paperwhite at the very least later this year year, but right now, Kindle Oasis is the only one that has that warm light control. I rely on that feature so much because I read almost exclusively at night before going to sleep, and having that warm light just makes it feel so much more pleasant to use. I've used the paper white as well, and I found myself not wanting to use it because at night, it didn't feel as natural to read. On the Kindle Oasis, it just feels so nice. It does also have a setting to automatically adjust the warm light control based on the sunrise and sunset, so it's one less thing you have to worry about. It also has something called night light, where once you start reading on the Kindle Oasis, it'll slowly and gradually lower the brightness of the device as your eyes adjust to the dark environment around you. That's a really cool feature that I didn't expect to like very much. I can actually see that working in action where the display brightness is slowly dimming the more I'm reading. But on top of that, there's also an ambient light sensor in the device, so when you're moving around between inside Inside and outside, it does automatically adjust the brightness as a whole. That's a unique feature as well to the Kindle Oasis. That is something I didn't expect to be using so much, but I really do use it quite often. Whenever I travel, I have that automatic light adjustment. It's one less thing I have to worry about. Now, the Kindle Oasis display also has two other very unique features. The first being dark mode. Having dark mode on a Kindle is really, really cool. I don't use it very much myself, but I've noticed that some people really love dark mode. And if you're one of those people, the Kindle Oasis is great for that. But also the seven inch display 
is really, really nice. I don't think I can really comprehend how much I love the larger display until I got the Kindle Paperwhite and compared it side by side. Just having that larger screen real estate to highlight text, have more text on the page, I've really come to appreciate that. Now, I've also used the Kobo Forma, which is an eight inch display, a whole inch bigger than this, and that is also really nice, but I think that is also a little too oversized for my personal taste. This is just the right size in my opinion, and the reason why I think so is also because the bezels are so small on the sides of the device, it makes the screen look that much bigger. It's just a pleasant experience to use. Now the one feature I don't think I talked about much in my original review video is the speed of the Kindle Oasis. This thing has a dual core processor, and I have to say, this feature by itself, just the speed and stability of the Kindle Oasis is probably worth the price investment compared to other devices. This thing is fast, especially compared to the Kindle Paperwhite. I have a whole video dedicated to comparing both things side by side. It's a small difference on camera, but when you're using it day to day, I really do feel the difference. Opening books, highlighting text, adjusting settings, it all works so seamlessly. There's no delay or lag anywhere when using the Kindle Oasis. This is one of those things that really make it fun to use. I actually really enjoy using this device because I don't experience lagginess. I think of reading as a mindful activity. I don't want to be reminded of technology when I'm reading my books. And on the Kindle Oasis, it just works. However, on other devices like the Nook, for example, that thing takes forever just to load a book. And I don't want to deal with that. When I'm reading my books, I want to open the book up and I want to know it'll work. I don't feel like I'm reading technology on this device. It just feels like reading a book on paperback. I've never had any issues with stability on this device. It works really well. I also really enjoy how it automatically updates on its own. I don't even get alerted when the updates happen. And I've gotten a few small features like the book cover in sleep mode. That's a new feature that just came out. It just showed up one day on my Kindle. These are the small things that the software of the Kindle Oasis does really well at handling. It just works really well. Again, I like comparing it to the Apple products because it's just like an Apple product. It just works really well. The software is well optimized. And I don't have to worry about it at all. Now, speaking of software, the other big thing that I completely ignored in my first video about the Kindle Oasis are the Amazon integrations that you have available to you with the Kindle ecosystem. This does not apply just to the Oasis, but to Kindle as a whole. The first being the Goodreads service. Goodreads is a social media website where you can track all your books and it's natively integrated into the Kindle ecosystem. Now, when I first got my Kindle, I did make an account, but it just looked really weird and the website was very outdated and I completely deleted my account and never used it after that. However, recently, a few months ago, I decided to give it a second chance and I'm really glad I did. It's completely changed my workflow for tracking the books I've already read, writing the books, and also finding new books as well. I've actually been really investing a lot of time in my Goodreads profile, so I always have new books to pick from that I know I will enjoy reading. It's one of those things that will completely change your workflow if you read a lot of books. And I love how Amazon integrates it directly into the Kindle ecosystem. That is something I've come to rely on at this point. Now I have a whole video talking about Goodreads, link for that down below. But another good Amazon integration is Audible. I also recently started listening to audiobooks and those are really, really useful to have on your Kindle. All the Kindle support Bluetooth, so if you have AirPods or Bluetooth headphones, you can pair them to your Kindle and listen to audiobooks directly on here. I don't personally do that, I use my phone, but it's really cool being able to go back and forth between an audiobook and the ebook version of it. So say you're listening to a book that you wanna highlight, but you don't wanna always read it, you can listen to it as well. With WhisperSync, you can read it on your audiobook, and then go back to the ebook and highlight right where you left off if you want to do that and go back and forth in a seamless way. Also, because it's an Amazon integration, you get a discount when you buy the ebook and then go back to buy the audio narration. It's all done through Amazon. Again, you're kind of stuck in the Amazon ecosystem, but everything works so well. That's the benefit of sticking with one platform for everything. Now, audiobooks are still kind of a new world I'm dabbling in. I have a whole video talking about my love-hate relationship with them. Link for that also down below. But one more integration I want to talk about is 
is the Readwise integration. Now, this is not made by Amazon, but for some reason, Amazon Kindles are the only ones that work really well with Readwise. What Readwise does is it takes all my highlights that I make on my Oasis and exports them to the Readwise service, which then will either email me the highlights, five random highlights every single day for me to review, or it will automatically sync them to my Notion. And I love having a database of all my highlights in Notion where I can mark it up, add additional notes, and review them later. And I also like reviewing my highlights every single day. I'm currently on like a 45 day streak of reviewing highlights every single day. I love reading nonfiction books, so having highlights resurface, make sure I always remember the things I read. It's one of those features you don't really know that you need to have until you have it. I love Readwise and I'm so happy it works so well on Kindle. You you will not get that nice of an integration on other platforms such as Kobo or Nook. Now I have a whole video talking about Readwise and my system for taking notes on Kindle. Link for that also down below. Overall, the Kindle Oasis has shown to be the device I keep going back to. If you look at my channel, I've looked at quite a few e-readers now in the past three months, and the Kindle Oasis is still the one I use every single day. It's the one that I find the most enjoyment using. I can't say the same for the other Kobos and Kindles and Nooks or whatever else is out there, this device just seems to work the best. I actually enjoy picking it up and reading books on it. And that's the thing I look for the most, which device will encourage me to read more. All these devices do the same thing at the end of the day, but you wanna find one that makes you actually want to read and the Oasis does that for me. Now, if you're interested in buying a Kindle Oasis, I have a link down below that will actually support my channel. I am not sponsored by Amazon. I wish I was, but right now I'm not. But that affiliate link will support my channel if you're interested. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy my original review video where I talk about the Kindle Oasis in much more detail, all the specific things I didn't talk about here. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.